Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, also known as Gateway to Glimmer, which makes no sense because Glimmer is only the first, like, mini level. But Glimmer is also a super cute character from sheer up when it's a of power, so I might call the game Gateway to Glimmer for that exact reason, because I love her. Anyway, uh, so last time we did Idle Springs, sort of, we're only at 71%, but we need some more moves and stuff to finish off these areas. Uh, because this game, much like Banjo-Kazooie, requires you to buy extra moves in order Sparks, to progress. The dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Yep. I haven't taken any hits yet, but thanks, Zoe. So, um, last time, yeah, we did, we did Idle Springs, we did Glimmer, sort of. Uh, we now have enough gems to go over to Moneybags here. Spyro? Would you like to learn to swim underwater? We can learn how to Spyro's dive underwater like and swim around. <clears throat> a small... So that's 500 gems, which is quite a lot, uh, but we have plenty, so we're good. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Use the charge button to charge? Really? Okay, so um, we just found a bunch of gems, but the important thing is, uh, if we start charging now, we can dive underwater and move around have we like underwater. Uh, the controls are pretty decent, in my opinion. Uh, you use up to tilt your... You, you move the stick down to tilt yourself up like this, kind of like flying a plane, and tilt forward tilts you down. Left and right aren't reversed, they make sense. Um, and yeah, you can charge to move at a good, like a fast speed through the water, or you can hold B to move like much slower. Hold, you know, the, the, the jump button, which is B, because this is a switch. Uh, you can't breathe fire underwater. Uh, I think there's another move you get later that lets you use an attack underwater, but I don't remember what it is. Charging works, though. So that's good. And yeah, so we can now swim around underwater, so let's backtrack and get some stuff by swimming around under underwater. Uh, if we head back this direction towards... Okay, this water's too shallow to dive in, so pressing charge does nothing. Uh, but there is some water further back that we do want to dive into. Uh, for example, here I believe we can dive? No. No, there's some water somewhere that's diveable, but I forget where. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there's Glimmer, which is where we started the game. Okay, so this water is also quite shallow, but I believe at the end there's a deeper bit. So let's follow the river. Yes, over here. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna break some of these to get the gems out. Uh, you can see, yeah, there's like a tunnel going down there that we're gonna be swimming in. Uh, there's no air meter in this game. Uh, you can swim as long as you like; you'll be fine. Which doesn't make a lot of sense. Sparks is in a little bubble, so I guess that's how Sparks is okay. But Spyro just doesn't need to breathe, I suppose. So yes, you can swim through this tunnel to get to this area, uh, which was completely inaccessible before we learnt that move, and it leads us to... This orb! Five orbs! Yay! <laughs> um, not that we know what to do with orbs yet, but, you know, it's cool to have them. Uh, let's head back over here, dive down here again. We can also go into the castle by going down here, underwater. Which is good because, as you might remember from the first video, Ripto has taken over this castle and we want to get it back, so we're going to sneak in using this tunnel. Which as far as I can tell is the only entrance, so I'm not really sure how people get in if they haven't bought the diving move. But there you go. <laughs> um... Okay, then there's a button here we can press, which flips these doors around basically. You can charge the button, but I'm flaming it because I'm a rebel. <laughs> You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Crypto before he can take over Avalar. Okay. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. Oh, that's what they're for. Okay. Okay, we got Horikos. I think that might be the boss. I'm not I saw sure. Something shiny at the top of this wall. 
You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Yeah, I think there's an orb up there, but yeah, we can't reach it because we don't have don't know how to climb. So we'll need to learn that move. I think there might be one move in each world, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Uh, Sunny Beach is this level. We might go in there in a moment. Getting plenty of gems, which is important. We need all the gems. I don't think there's a talisman here in the overworld. Yeah, there's not. Cool. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun. Okay, so that sounds like a flying level. Or, you know, similar to a flying level. Because there's no talisman, it's it's the same sort of deal. I'm not super interested in that, so we'll look at that in a bit, maybe. Where's that button? Oh, it's all the way around there. That's annoying. Yeah, I don't think I can get through there. Uh, through the other door without... Yeah, I'll have to wait. Come back a different way or something. Okay. Um, I, might, I might go to Ocean Speedway in a bit, but I don't really feel like it. I'll think about it. Hey, here's money bags again. Hi, money bags. Oh, well, good to see you, Spyro. I used to remember how to lower this wall behind me, but I seem to have temporarily forgotten. If you had more money, it might jog my memory. Ugh. God, I hate you. Yeah, we need to give him 400 gems to unlock that area. Um, so yeah, I was wrong in the first video. I thought that it was always moves, but no, sometimes he just unlocks areas when you give him money. Because he's a capitalist scum. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once okay, so we do need all of them. Yeah. And Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Okay, so we do need all six of them. I wasn't sure about that. But yeah, this game you do need everything. Unlike the first game, which is kind of an annoying change, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um... Yeah, I don't think we can get that other stuff just yet. Uh, yeah, I think we can get through both of these doors just yet. We might need some new ability or something. Or to come from a different direction, maybe? Uh, we'll come back to that. For the moment, oops. Oops. I'm gonna hit the switch again. Apparently these switches affect all the doors everywhere, not just the ones nearby. Did not know that. Okay, uh, let's head into one of these levels. Let's, let's take a look at Sunny Beach. You got some more treasure, and you're going to Sunny Beach. And there's a bit of lag while it loads the next level, but that's okay by me. Uh, I don't know what to expect, because I can't remember much about Spyro 2. I played it a bit, but Spyro 1's the one I had as a kid, doobie doo. Okay, so we got a little cutscene, there's some minions here. Um, accidentally electrocuting each other and causing problems. That's not good. Um. Okay, so this level is actually, I think, I think it's this one. It's mostly set underwater, if I recall correctly. Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. It might be different what I'm thinking of, though. Over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Okay. Okay, so we need to actually push this big turtle, uh, like this, onto the button. There we go. And then the baby turtles can get through. I don't really remember how this works at all. <laughs>
Where did the baby turtles go? They were coming this way. Did they die? Did I kill them? By accident? God, I hope not. That would be sad. Apparently sparks can eat butterflies underwater somehow. So that's cool. Sorry, baby turtles, I guess you're all dead. That's not good. Okay, here's a minion. I think the minions are in fact enemies, so yes. Yes, they are. Goodbye, minion. I'm here for the money anyway, so it doesn't really matter what happens to anything else. <laughs> I guess I need the talisman. So I should probably be looking for the talisman as well. Sorry, dude. I think your babies are dead. The baby turtles will lead the way, but there are some obstacles that they cannot pass. If you can clear the obstacles away, the turtles will be able to make it to safety. Okay, I assume that means they didn't actually die, and I just need to go to the right spot and they'll be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Go over there on that switch. Okay, there's, there's the turtles, they're not dead. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. I was sure that they'd accidentally died because I hadn't killed the enemies quickly enough, but no. No, we're all good. Can I break this? It's made of wood. It seems to be fireproof for some reason. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, Can't break that either. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm confused. You need a new ability or something? Don't know. <laughs> this game, I'm just, I'm just nowhere near as familiar with this as I am with the first game. So I'm just very, gonna be very confused a lot. Granted, in the first game, I kept looking up walkthroughs, so you know, I'm not super familiar with it either, but, you know, we'll see how we go. Hey you, where are you going? You're supposed to go on the switch. Get it, the switch. There we go. I uh, can't climb that ladder yet. I'm guessing there'll be more stuff I can't actually access. Ow! Okay, that says 11. I don't know what that means. Oh, I need to kill 11 enemies for that to work. Alright. Hi, Gromit. Baby turtles. And the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Okay, so the super flame power-up is the one over there. Okay, so I have to defeat some more enemies to make the super flame work, and then I can break these boxes open. Okay, that makes sense.
attacking enemies. Okay, so that chest is underwater, and I can't use flame underwater, so... Hmm. Maybe I can use super flame underwater? I don't know. I wish the camera would zoom out a little bit more into water so you get a better idea of what you're doing, but it doesn't. So that's a bit inconvenient. Um Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Oh no. You could climb up there and stop him? No, I can't climb. Sorry. You're just gonna have to turn into soup. It's the only way. Go that way. Keep going that way. I think I need to keep charging to keep moving. Yeah. You, no. Go the other way. Stand on the switch. There we go. Let's go, baby turtles. Is this the baby turtle house? Did I make it? Thank you, young dragon. The Welcome. baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Yay, the talisman. It's uh it's got a turtle on it. It's like a little coin with a turtle on it. Heck yeah. Good 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 for me to, to do that. Okay, so I can't go up there yet. To get that chef out of the way. How much should I do? I didn't do any of the orbs. I'm not sure I can yet. Uh, I do have the super flame, so I can probably go back and use that. I can find which way is back. Uh, it's this way, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the super flame is charged up. So if I fly over here, step through there. Heck yeah. break that chest as well. We'll go back to the super flame uh, thingy again and get another one, but that's okay. That's something I can do without too much hassle. Can I use super flame underwater? Okay, yeah, I can. Five. Oh no, four. That was five. Okay, so there's another one over there. Where's the... Okay, so... I go back to the, the thing. <laughs> this thing. You know the thing. Gem hiding there too. Uh, okay, so there's two more. I think there's one at the end underwater, so I'll probably need to go back to the end and get it that way. Which direction is that? <laughs> Hang on, I haven't been in here yet. Hang on, there was a turtle somewhere. No, that one's standing on that switch, so I can't move him. Little turtles can't stand on the switches, they're too small. Um, hmm. The water workers have captured my- Yeah, I know, but I know, I know. You already told me about that. Um, maybe I need to be able to get up high or something to reach the turtle I need, but... Because there's a ladder there. Hmm. 
You're standing on a switch, so I need you to stay there. Or do I? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I do. Dang it. And that one I can't move. And then you get to here. And I want to put one in here, but I can't. Oh! Oh, okay, I don't actually need to need a turtle to stand there. I just need to do this. Get the super flame and use the fact that it has such long range to hit the chest of the turtle from over here, like that. Okay. Okay, so the last one is through the next area, which is one of these directions, if I can remember where. Okay, yeah, it's through here. I think I've wasted too much time, though. Yeah, I've definitely wasted too much time. Okay. So we just climb, climb, climb. Up the steps, up the steps. Across the bridge. Down into the water. Yeah, the water controls are not as good as I claimed. They're not, they're not that great. They're sort of okay, but... Eh. They're not fabulous. Oh, seriously? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the water controls are frustrating, but they could be worse, I think is, I think is what I would say about these, this game's controls when you're under, under water. <laughs> there we go. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Thanks. Orb. Catching? Okay, so we now have blasting boxes. There's two more. I don't know if that means there's actually two more, like, little side quests I need to do, or if there's just the one and it gives you two orbs, because I know that other one gives you two orbs. Hmm. Good question. Anyway, for the moment, I think we're going to leave the level because I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere I can without the climbing move. Because you can see there's a guy up there I can't reach. And we've done everything else, so let's head on out. Uh, and then let's pay money bags. Oh yeah, there's a cute cutscene. Having a swim. I mean, sure. Seven eight seven. Turning to summer forest. Turning to summer forest. That is where we're going now. Yeah. Turning to some forest. Yeah. Okay. Here we are again, in the forest of summer. <laughs> so, uh, if we head back over, I think this way? Uh, we can talk to Moneybags again, and he will eliminate this big old wall say, here. Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. God, I hate him. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Eat the rich. Okay, so that's how you get to Aquaria Towers, which is over there. There's also a little bit of gems in here, so we'll grab those. There we go. Um, we're at about 24 minutes, so I don't want to start another whole level at this point. Uh, let me just have a quick look around. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would get through there. Hmm. That's the talisman door that needs to get all the talismans to open it. And you've got this area over here. 
which has this button you can press to open there. Maybe I need to be able to climb to reach that other stuff. And climbing, I don't think I can get for a while. I wonder if I can glide my way around the next door. It looks a bit far. Let's give it a try, though. Not quite. Not quite. I think it's been designed so you can't do that on purpose. But I could be wrong. Maybe that's how you do it. Let me just give it a, like, maybe one more try. And then I think I'll call out a video. Like, we've done a bunch of stuff all over the place. We've unlocked an annoying flying level, probably. Um, usual gambit. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I think I can make that. I think I can make that. Let's just climb back up here. Door's closed. Looking the other door is open. Yep, I can make that. Haha, <laughs> woo! <laughs> okay, so there's an orb in here. Let's grab it. Orb 7. And nothing else, because that's the whole point of this area. Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, opening this passageway did not give us access to that. It only gives you access to Aquaria Towers and the gems that surround it. But that's okay. I don't think I can go out these gaps. Yeah. The flutter basically gets you like back the height you lost by gliding. I believe it never gets you any higher than the first jump. That's my understanding anyway. Okay, so we've done... Let me see, we've done Sunny Beach, sort of. We've, we've mostly done Sunny Beach. Uh, we've mostly done this one. Uh, we've mostly done this one. We've mostly done this one. I think we need some more moves to do most of this stuff, which makes doing things in order kind of tricky. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. If you'd like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. Yeah, all right. Okay, all done. If you don't like the camera this way, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. Thanks, Hunter. I have no idea what the difference is. Um... Oh yeah, I, I guess... I guess that makes more sense? I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I missed anything. I know I have, I have to revisit all these levels once I have more abilities in order to get everything, which is a little annoying, because you didn't have to do that in the first game. You could get everything, and then the level would be done. Um, but that's all right, I guess. Anyway, that's probably it for this video. Um, next time, I'll take on maybe Aquaria Towers, maybe Colossus. I don't know. There's a bunch of levels around that I haven't gone into yet. Uh, there's also Harakos Hur over there. And... Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of levels in this home world that I haven't been to, so we'll take on some of those. Uh, we'll see how we go. Also, yeah, let's have a quick swim. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, more stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, this game is a lot more all over the place in the first game, I guess, because of the way the moves work. Uh, it's, it's okay, like, I, I like unlocking moves and going back and doing stuff with them, but I also like being able to say, this level's done, I got everything, and just proceed to the next level and continue in that sort of fashion. Um, so, you know, a bit of a trade-off. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!